Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so I'm either about to be just a freaking genius here or an idiot. And, uh, you know, sometimes those two border on each other pretty closely. Anyways, I got this new to me, brand new, actually. <laughs> it's a cheap, it's called the Enya Nova Go guitar. It's a half size or three quarters. It's almost the same exact size as my Emerald X7, except the, the, the neck is narrower, which I don't, it's not my favorite because I have these big fat fingers, but I can play it just great. And uh, we'll do a little bit of that in just a second. But so my idea here is I want to take this bike packing with me in the case, and I want to be able to access the inside of it to put, um, just to use it, the area for clothing and whatnot. Because every bit of space you have is good. So my idea is to cut a big hole in the back of the guitar and add an access port like so. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm not nervous about this because uh, this is a brand new guitar, it's fine. However, I don't need another, they call this a carbon fiber guitar, but it's $160. It sounds okay. My, the other guitar I own is a real carbon fiber Emerald X7 and it's was $2,000 or more. I don't even remember exactly. Anyway, so I play that one all the time. This is, this I bought specifically to be able to do exactly what I'm about to do. Cut it open and use it as a pannier on my bike so I can bring it bike touring. So I'm going to spend the whole winter in Mexico on my bike. I'm not racing. So that's the goal with what I'm about to do here. And again, I'm not going to lie and say I'm not nervous about it. But worst case scenario is I just paid 160 bucks for me learning that that was a really stupid idea or a brilliant idea. So here we go. We're going to cut into this thing. I'm committing. I got a pilot hole bit. I'm going to drill the initial hole to center everything here. And we are committing to where I am locating it right here, right now. Took the screws back out and cut them to the shortest level possible so they don't just stick through and create um, rubbing spots. And then I was like, oh, what do I do about the pegs, the nut or one of the bridge pins, I guess they're called. And those are the strings, the different colors. That comes through, you know, and I was like, oh, that can't be that good to be shoving clothes against that. Like, I don't want to have any sort of if I use dry bags, I don't want them to be poked and whatnot. So that's why I cut the screws. And and then I was like, I just looked in the trash and I finished a lemonade last night or limeade. And I was like, huh, I can probably just... So I cut it down a little bit to make it as short this way as possible. So again, we're not taking up critical volume of my guitar pannier. And I'm just going to super glue that in there instead of epoxying it for now and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, like... I should be able to shove, oh, a shirt or two and tons of socks and probably a spare uh, chamois shorts in there. So I'm pretty freaking stoked. And then this just goes on and it sounds just as good as it did before, which is, again, this is not like 
freaking classic Martin or even my emerald there. Uh, but I am absolutely stoked. Bum, 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 bum.